Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is our second video in this whole COA uh, full stack project uh, video series. This will be a quick one. Um, basically, we're going to just show what you do with just the COA core package. What's cool about COA versus Express is that well, Express, when you get Express, it has a few things bundled in there. Like you can already route out of the gate with Express. COA's very core just has very basic stuff. Like literally, I can pretty much just start a server. And then you'll add the COA router, you'll add the COA this, the COA that, all these all these other packages to add all the other functionality. Most of it is gonna work very much like Express. Again, just, you'll notice minor differences along the way as um, as we go along. So some, the particular one that's going to be substantial versus Express is just the way it handles request and response, where instead of having a request and response object, there's just one object called contacts. Um, but otherwise, the same principle. But basically, right now, all we've done is install all that stuff we did in the first video. So we just installed the COA package and a node mon. Okay. So what I would want to do is in your index.js file, you're going to write cons COA, and you can name it whatever you want. So it doesn't have to be const COA. Const just means it's a constant variable and then the variable name, but you want to call it COA so that way you know what it is. And we're going to require the COA package. So basically, whenever you're requiring something from Node, you're basically saying, hey, Node, out of the packages that I have installed for this project, I'd like the stuff that's in the COA package. Okay, and generally the way Node works is that the package, really what it does, it creates an object that has all the functionality that that package provides. And then what it does, it exports that object. So I'm really requiring um, what I'm with this COA represents is that that object, that class that was created in that package. But I need to actually create an instance of that class. So now what I want to do is I'm going to create, and let's actually make this const not var. Okay, const server, just better have to make everything const uh, unless you have to, and otherwise make it let. Let's avoid using var. Uh, const server, so it's a constant called server. This is going to represent our server object. That's actually going to be our server that's going to listen for requests. And what it is, it's really a new instance of the COA class that we just brought in from the COA package. Okay, so basically this creates, so think of again, a class is like a, a design for an object. And now we're actually putting, making it a real object, this server here. Okay, so that's what this is. We're creating our server object that's going to act as our server throughout this project. And we want that when this when this program runs, we want that server listening for requests. So basically, when people type in a website, what your browser is doing is making a request of some server out there. But that server has to be listening for those requests so it can respond to them. But I have to choose a port. Okay, and this can be any number. I chose 1985 because it's my birth year. So fun, fun, fun. So basically, if you were to send a request on that port, and this this server is going to be listening on that port. So let's test that out. So right now it says server. That's our server object that we created up here. And I'm going to use the function listen as part of the server object. And then it takes one parameter, which is the port it's going to be listening on. Or it takes a par one parameter, in this case, the, the port that it's listening on. So now I'm actually, I have the, the uh, node windows command prompt. So they have their own windows command prompt. But basically, this would be the same on bash. You, now, if you have node mon installed, you can type in node mon or if you don't have node mon installed you can type in node um, but if you do node when i run the server so if i do server.js i'd have to cancel the server anytime i make changes i have to restart it manually node mon will just do it for me but i type in node which tells node that i want to run this thing what do i want to run server.js okay and it's completing Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Cannot find manual. Oh, because it's not server.js, it's index.js. Okay, node index.js. There we go. And the server is running. Okay. Right now it's not sending me any message because I didn't ask it to send any message once you start listening. Okay, so right now, if I if the server was off, when I go to localhost 1985, it gives me this page. But now that the server is listening, if I go there now, it says not found. So now I know that it's node that's responding. 
Now I haven't told it to send me anywhere because we haven't built anything yet. So that's why it says not found. But now we know that the server is listening and it'll stay listening until we shut it off. How do we shut it off? We're gonna hit control C and that cancels the server. Okay. And now if I go back to the browser, type in localhost 1985 again, And I get this, I can't be reached because it can't find, no one's responding to it. So there you go. You've created a server using Koa. I'll see you guys in the next video.